Hello everyone, you're welcome to this week's edition of the Ultimate Money Show. Um, this week we caught up with a very interesting young man, his name is Monachi Ogweke. He's the CEO and co-founder of a company named One Liquidity. Now One Liquidity is a company that basically provides access to liquidity, technology and licensing covers for businesses. Now the aim here is that once that is provided for businesses, it gives them a level playing field, you know, with other more established startups. And now they can focus on maybe more important aspects of their businesses like customer acquisition, scaling, and of course, innovation. So I'll leave it to you guys now to listen to our chat with Munachi Ugweke. Thank you and stay tuned. My name is Munachi Ugweke and I'm the CEO of One Liquidity. Yeah, so One Liquidity's challenge or the, the problem we are trying to solve is how to get people to build more yellow cards more successful products you know that is what we want to achieve and that is how we want to achieve it first of all i believe that there's a large innovation gap in africa you know and the problem is twofold one is the ability to get funding because of capital is very slim in this in this sides and there's a lot of reasons for that i don't want to go into all these reasons and the next reason is the cost of actual innovation it's quite high it's very high you know, so what we want to do with One Liquidity is give people the easiest way, help them build, give them the easiest access to infrastructure and liquidity because those are the two biggest issues that you're going to face when you're building a product. And those are the two biggest issues we faced or we had to scale when we're building Yellow Card. You know, technology is a big part of any technology product. You can't build a technology startup or a technology business without actually having technology. You know, and most of this technology is third party technology you need to integrate other people and there are a slew of things you need to integrate you need to integrate compliance you need to integrate wallet you need to integrate payout you need to integrate uh, different forms of services to be able to get your service out of place into place rather you know and the cost of this thing is actually very high for instance if you take a typical compliance suit a typical compliance suit for you doing kyc on your customers which is an absolute requirement if you don't want to get shut down would cost you anywhere from ten thousand dollars to maybe sixty thousand dollars annually you know and most of startups in africa are raising ten thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand how can you really afford this thing you know and the problem is most of these guys require you to pay uh prepaid or postpaid you know so that means you dumping a, a huge chunk of capital or uh, funds to their uh, to their accounts for you to be able to process transactions. If we talk about wallet services, infrastructure, it's even more expensive. The least you will get for you to scale would be like maybe fifty to sixty thousand. If you are going to do transaction AML, it's a bigger cost, you know. So when I when we built Yellow Card, the good thing is we were able to raise capital, you know, and these markets are even more turbulent, but. It was still a pain point for us, you know, because the little capital we had to we had we had to either find a way to extremely optimize, maybe it means cutting corners, and we know the repercussions of cutting corners, you know. So what we what I wanted to do with one liquidity is help businesses scale, you know, by giving them these services, these same services that they will need to dump dump a huge chunk of capital in. We give it to them on demand. So when you grow, we grow. When you, when you have customers, you pay. You don't need to dump capital with a platform to, to be, enable you to be able to scale, to be able to meet payout, or maybe enable you to be able to do your compliance servicing or your AML or whatever the case may be. You know, so this drastically reduces the effort that a lot of fintechs, payment, e-commerce platform have to go through. Because understanding that you don't need to keep a lot of capital anymore, and you can operate a lean startup. It's very, very important to allow innovation to come into this space. You know, we, this is Africa. This is not really the, this is not the West. You know, you have an idea. Nobody's going to invest in you until you show results. You understand? And that, that is one of the biggest reasons why innovation is not really, is not really so proliferated in this part. You know, so for me, understanding this problem and building a startup around it is one of the key things that i want to do to help this space another big issue you're going to face when you're raising when you're starting your business is the issue of liquidity and liquidity spans in different things you know liquidity is the ability to settle trades 
Liquidity is the ability to make payouts. Liquidity is the ability to process uh, transactions after your, all your capital is tied down. So there are two main broad aspects of it is, is either payments, exchange, or is lending. You know, being able to increase productivity with the little capital you have. You know, and for one liquidity, it's the core of our business to also enable you to be able to stand on the level of any startup. So we want a startup that starts today to be operating on the level of a yellow card, operating on the level of a, everybody. But exactly, exactly. We want to back you so that you don't need to worry about competition anymore. The playing field will now be determined on how innovative are you? How innovative are you? What can you do that these people are not doing? One liquidity is trying to level the playing field for everyone. You know, we want people to be able to innovate. We want people to be able to build. We want to see more ideas in this space. We want businesses to grow faster, scale, and be the best they can be with the little capital they have. And they don't even need to look for investors anymore. You can build hyper-localized products with one liquidity. You can think of, instead of, the problem is when you want to build a startup, you need to build, you need to think large, you know. But what if I just want to build a startup that solves problems for people in Lekki? The problem is I, I have to raise capital like I'm building a problem to solve for the whole of Africa. I don't want to solve for Africa. I want to solve for Lekki, you know. So you need a hyper-localized a, a hyper localized product. You need a, a infrastructure basis that lets you focus on your core strengths, that lets you Pay when you need when you need the service rather than pay in uh, excess. You understand? And a way for you to be able to manage costs, grow, and even you, if you if you don't, you're not interested in really raising capital anymore. You just want to take money from a, add your markup, and make money. So it's easy for you. You know, you cut out all the need to go and do all your capital, raise capital because you just want to focus on solving a small problem, and that is okay for you. And so that's what one liquidity is about innovation and giving people access to innovation.